Hello, we're back. With more snacks. No, I mean, we're back from Japan. Oh, yeah. Also that. Less fun. First, though, I want to get a couple things. This, (laughs) at Haneda Airport, they have a vending machine. It's a Pokemon vending machine, obviously. This isn't the blind box. I know what one's in here. I just figured I would open it up for you guys so you could see some of the stuff you can get in Japan. It'd be cool if they did do blind box, though. At that size. Like, yeah. So this is a... Gyarados. Gary Gary Gyarados. Yay. Gyarados. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> so, yeah. They have, uh, like, maybe a uh, five by five thing. Maybe 20, 25 mm-hmm. different ones. They had a Pikachu with um, the pilot's hat yeah. and the stay in the Haneda airport on it. But it was, like, 20 bucks. So we I got Out the, of yen. Yeah. And they don't take cards in the machine. No, so Which... I got the less expensive one, but that's my... I actually have a plushy Pokemon now. We already know how this tastes, but I'm going to show it to you yeah. anyways. This is um, from Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory. These are uh, sweet shortbreads with uh, cheese... Thank you. With the cheese in the middle. And these have been in the fridge because they're best served cold. And this so was at wa- Sky Tree. Yeah, we're walking through Sky... They, um, the food court area down in the bottom level of Sky Tree, and there are all these evil, evil little girls <laughs> who come up with samples. Oh, would you try this? Would you try this? And I say, well, like, I'm not going to buy it now. <laughs> Feed you delicious food. Yeah. And then, yeah. The first time I didn't buy the thing they sample of because I was going somewhere else, and said, I'm going to come back and buy that, and then I forgot what it was, so I didn't buy it. Remember this time? I bought it right when she pointed out because I knew I'd forget. Mm. And these ones actually have a small layer of cheese within the cracker. And it's like a a sweet shortbread kind of cracker, but not as flour dusty mm. as shortbread is. And also not quite as sugary, but it is that very mm-hmm. light, very... Yeah. Very precious. <laughs> so this is um the October box, the Halloween box, and a bit of a Pokemon yeah. theme, obviously. Which we'll look at later. Yes. Except this one... Yeah, there's some cute art. I didn't read it. I just skimmed. <laughs> this is the drink from the box, which is the Pokemon Ramune yeah. in the cool bottle. Should I open that now or later? I'll save that. Save that. Okay. Yeah, because there's a couple Kit Kats up there, too. Yeah. Um, Ten packages. Oh, mm-hmm. I, they gave it away. Oh. They show the picture of the ring alo potato <laughs> ring things. Okay, now I know what these yeah. are. So we don't have to open as many, so... Thank you! An adorable little uh, Halloween packaging. So, so one of these times, I think what we should do is get a bottle of sake and make a rule. You have to take a shot. What? If For you, you have to exactly identify it because you can read the more <laughs> Japanese than me. Me, if I could just get what snack yeah. it is. Otherwise, nope, sake shot. And or sake and crafts again, like we did yeah. our last night. So, uh, Tanoshi Halloween. Halloween is fun. Yeah. Or Happy Pleasant Halloween. Tanoshi Kata, because now it's over, sadly. And if you didn't catch the live stream, I will be making a video of that, but we were at Shibuya on Halloween night. He got serenaded. Nobody recognized the Tardas. I mean, what is it? Hey, wait a minute. There's a weird flavor on those. It's a very mild flavor. That's a fruity kind of flavor. What's going on here? Mm. Is that? It's just very slightly sweet, but... Do we have the same melon? kind? It must... Oh. I'm assuming they're all the same kind, just different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fall. It might be melon. It might be a hint of apple. It could be. It could be apple because I think apple is one of the fall flavors. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah that, there it is. That's mm. the do-it-yourself. Oh, make the little crafty. Yeah. Make yeah. make mm-hmm. little. It looks like it makes gummies this time. I'll add that to the box of many many crafts. <laughs> oh, again, easy. Yeah. 
the the chocolate <laughs> rabbit things because there's a picture up in the corner. They're really making it easy on me this month. Just showing here. Here's what it is. We'll make a picture of it. Last time we had the chocolate fish, or like the mint chocolate fish. These yeah. I think these are the ones where it would, like another one that would make a great breakfast cereal. Yeah. Yep. Mm. The cocoa flavor, not a not a cheap chocolate flavor, but yeah. then the, like the puffed corn with. A little bit of sugar yeah. glaze on the outside. Like very light and fluffy. Mm. Okay, we got Happy Halloween in English. Fugashi. It's actually uh, written in the written yeah. Romaji. <laughs> They're really going easy on yeah. me this month. Yeah, and then Happy Yeah, Happy Halloween. Yeah. yeah. Same thing and I'm assuming this is one of those um yeah, rusk bars. Because it's very, very light. <laughs> I don't yeah, know if you should have this. It might be a gluten bar. Oh, forget I, that. I'm have a little bit. Have the, for the amount of beer I've drank this week after being told I should be gluten free, I'm. Mm. It's like almost nothing on the inside. It's kind of like those um, those rusks that I got. The sugar coated. Mm. That has a bit of a fruity flavor too. Two colors. <laughs> it's, I bet it's a gummy type chew, yeah. but that's about all I can get yeah. from it. Well, ga gamu, so that's a good guess. All right. <laughs> so you guys too. Yeah. Just staring at the package. <laughs> Pretty colors, yeah. He's vomiting out blue and green. <laughs> yeah, these yeah. these just gummy chews. Yeah. Come to me. Yeah. I'm assuming the blue one is going to be the blue cola flavor. This one's kind of cola flavor too, like the Ramune. Nope, this is actually actual gum. Mm. Yeah, because the chewing's not stopping. Mm -hmm. Because mm. sometimes you'll get the the Japanese, it says gum on it, mm -hmm. but it's just sort of like a kind of a toffee, like a candy toffee thing. Yeah. It's not actual bubble gum the way we do with the, with the latex, but this mm. is definitely a real gum. Mm. Okay, these are going to be gummies. Okay. Just, um, yeah. Okay. Oh, you could combine flavors. Yeah, here's another one where you combine the different two of them and you get the third flavor mm. out of it. I haven't seen those in a while. Yeah. It's an adventure for your mouth. <laughs> okay. They're all different yeah. color balls. <laughs> and Losing table, my marbles. <laughs> <laughs> the table's not quite level. All right. They're, they've stopped. Okay. okay. Have they? Okay. So we have, I think, uh, one was yogurt, it looked like. Yeah, because they're, yeah. Yogurt, orange, strawberry, strawberry, and the muscat grape. Muscat, though. Okay, so if you do an orange, a grape, and a yogurt, you get... Orange, grape, yogurt. Yeah. I get Koopy Mayo. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a grape soda. Oh, like a, like a cream soda, actually. And then mm. strawberry, orange, yogurt. The orange is very overpowering. Yeah. I don't get cream soda, get more like orange crush. But again, these are actual gum. Oh, are they like gum gum? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll do... Yes, yeah. they are. Luffy, they are gum gum. <laughs> Pikachu. Pikachu gummies. Purple Pikachu yeah. gummies. Because yeah. Pikachu's purple. <laughs> like evil Pikachu, maybe. Um, Little Pikachu face. Yeah. yeah. It, too bad the ears aren't actually ears. Mm. They're... I think they're all purple. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and this is a harder gummy. 
Mm. That's all grape flavored. It looks like it is going to turn your tongue blue. <laughs> There's some kind of balls yeah. in there. Candy balls. Give me a hand. <laughs> I didn't put my knife on the door this time. Yeah, that is tight though. Yeah, and okay. it's like, but this is Japan. There should be an easy tear strip. And there doesn't appear to be. Or maybe there is and I just can't see it. Yeah, no, there definitely is. See? This is Japan. I knew there should be one. If you're ever you're struggling to yeah. open a package yeah. from Japan, you're not doing it right. Okay. Yeah, so this is more actually chewing gum. Wow, there's a lot of it. Yeah. I see what they mean. There's yeah. three different chewing gums in this one. Are you swallowing your gum? Yeah. I couldn't do that. Mm. Why? It's not great for you. <laughs> Why? It's just going to pass through and go out. It's not going to do anything to you. Okay. Mm. I guess you shouldn't swallow tomatoes. They're going to go inside and do things to you. <laughs> Just because you don't like vegetables. Okay, you shouldn't swallow pasta. It's all rubbery. It's going to go inside and do something <laughs> to you. Anyway, this is kind of a bit of a oh. flavor. That's a... I have a little, little tart flavor. Not like a tart, like isn't mm -hmm. tart. It kind of loses. Is your tongue purple? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> They weren't kidding. Yep. Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not gum again, it's going to be those gum-ish candy yeah. things that I thought those were going to mm -hmm. be. I think when it says gamu, that's a very good indication that it is chewing gum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's more chewing gum. I don't know if it's chewing gum or, like I said, it's just that rubberish candy. So it's uh, cola flavored. Hmm, cola. Yeah. And I got. You got a Vulpix. Is this an Eevee? No, that's a Vulpix. And a Bulbasaur. And a Bulbasaur, yeah. Okay. That means absolutely nothing. It's just what's on the label. Pokemon. Ooh, is it a wafer maybe? Just... Brown color. Yeah, it's just a toffee. Mm. But very, very cola yeah. flavor toffee. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a, this is hard too. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I got tars hard. Very hard toffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, Halloween. That, that, this is Halloween. I thought <laughs> that's what it said. <laughs> there looks like wafers with some uh, sort of jelly to put on them. Need to like peanut butter sandwiches. Milk something maybe? So, they're just like they're yeah. wafer, super thin wafers. Oh wow, wafers, that yeah. is. And this is going to be some kind of, yeah, jelly <laughs> stuff. We had this in like, I think we had this in the first Halloween one that Ken and I opened where I yeah. got the chopsticks. Yeah. Nito, Samba. Oh, where's the rip? This is going to be another cola something. There it is. Yeah. I knew there'd be one. Or do we need water to put? No, oh, nope. it's naked jelly. Oh. Okay. It's purple again. You've got a theme for yourself there. <laughs> oh, Glorp. Glorp. <laughs> uh, pretty art. Pretty tasty art. Very thin. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a... It's like those vanilla wafer cookies that... Mm -hmm. mm. Is that just a sweet sugar syrup? I don't even taste... Oh, maybe there's a bit of cola in there. Very light. Very, very light. Yeah. They might be pumpkin flavor. Hang on. Uh, it shows me a pumpkin there. Yeah. Pizza. So... Pizza flavor? Maybe. Your neighbors are doing something wacky up there. Well, I guess let's open them and find out. But again, like the box is just jammed. This is the premium yeah. box, but it's jammed right full of stuff. Mm. I think 
really attempted pizza flavor. Mm -hmm. Like, but it's yeah. very. It's got definitely tomato sauce flavor. I get the tomato sauce mm. out of it. I don't know if I get any cheese or any toppings. Mm. Pumpkin pizza? I mean, leave it to Japan. If <laughs> like that Franken pizza mm -hmm. I had. It, I, yeah, I get a tomato sauce. Like not tomato sauce with all mm. the seeds, just like smushed up tomatoes. Yeah, very very mild. Yeah, it's kind of like the Italian umaibo that we had in that other box. A little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Halloween ghost marshmallow. It's just a round yeah. squished marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Might be more mochi. Ooh, yeah. There's goo in it. <laughs> That's what he said. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Halloween umai. <laughs> and we have. Happy Halloween! Yeah. No hint of flavor. So they kind of got that Doraemon car, cat mm -hmm. artwork on it. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I have Let's no see. guess from the picture what it might Calm. be. Calm. Hmm. But as usual, yeah. it's going to be covered with flavor dust. Yeah. <laughs> Just the way you like it. Thank you. Mmm, corn. Mm hmm. As soon as I breathe in, I can get that <gasps> sweet corn. <laughs> that makes sense. That's, That's definitely a fall thing. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Got sweet it. sticks. <laughs> sweet on a stick. Ika. Ika. Uh, she? Yeah. So, like, they have it in English, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, not in English. They have it in the Romaji yeah. up top. Squid dicks. <laughs> <sighs> oh, wow. Is there a... Fish stank. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Smells like a fish market. Doesn't taste like a fish. Wait. Right? Okay, this one's not so bad. Some of them it doesn't taste, and then the fish comes swimming in after. Yeah, there's like there's like maybe a tiny hint, but mm -hmm. yeah, those are quite yeah. palatable. Okay. Nacho cheese. <laughs> The most important words in the Japanese language for me. Nacho cheese. <laughs> or just anything that's cheesy. Like, <laughs> we had some amazing cheese crackers and stuff. Aside oh. from those excellent milk cracker biscuits yeah. things. So we're going to have to go to Skytree just to get more of those. But we found some at Tokyo Station. And they were delicious. And even like they, the middling ones. that They were like fried yeah. bits of cheese almost. Turned into cracker form somehow. Mm -hmm. I feel like these are about on par for Pringles flavor, which is to say, not a lot. Weak. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like they've gone over to Japan and said, look, don't tell us. We know how to do cheese mm. flavor. They don't. Japan knows how to do cheese flavor. These are a sad imitation of what mm. somebody remembered cheese might taste like and described it to somebody else and he tried to make it. <laughs> or like if you translate things back and forth a bunch of times on Google Translate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is, yeah, the food equivalent of that. Very strong scent off that radio. Right this is um, apple, apple, pie. Apple, <laughs> apple pie flavor. <laughs> oh, and they're pretty and purple. There's a, many, many there's million a, flavors yeah. of Kit Kats. But I tell you every time, the mm. reason for that, I'm not telling you again, look at one of the old videos if you want to, or just look up why Kit Kats are so popular in Japan. Mm. This tastes like an apple pie. Mm hmm. This is the one mm. from the box. This is the October mm. treat, which is the, the Pikachu Ramune mm. in the bottle with the, the glass yeah. that you have to pop open. 
This, I mm-hmm. don't remember which box it's from, but this is a Sakura Cola, which we're interested yeah. to taste. Mm-hmm. And I'm not quite so interested to taste this, the yogurt <laughs> banana, banana flavor Fanta. <laughs> I also have, well, we can have those snacks later. Yeah. I'm trying to stick mostly to like what's actually mm-hmm. in the box. So we'll do the one that was from the box first, then we'll start doing the mm-hmm. bonus stuff because there's two bonus yeah. Kit Kats up Ooh, there too. The snacking. One that I haven't even yeah. opened. Does that come in another Tokyo treat? Or? Yeah, they yeah. came in another Tokyo treat. So then, like, yeah. I think it was probably the one was the same with this because I think it's a banana flavored Kit Kat. Oh, don't mm-hmm. lose the plunger. Nope. <laughs> Pop that out. All right. We'll let you do it. <laughs> yeah, we're good. So, I also found out another thing about these, how there's these two little indents here. It's for the marbles. If it you drink it away. that way, yeah, so the marble doesn't roll back. <laughs> how many so. times does that take you to figure out? I didn't figure it out. I think either Shinichi and Satoshi, I think they're the ones that pointed out. Either mm-hmm. that or Norm, one or the other. May- nope. For years. Maybe it was... Um, John on um, Oni in Tokyo. Might have been them. Mm. Oni in Japan, sorry. Well, yeah, because every time you drink, you're like, why is this marble in my face? Is it different than regular Romani? Yes. Well, I think so, but mm. maybe I've just never had regular Romani. I've only had ever flavors. It's not too mm-hmm. sweet and... Especially mm-hmm. when it's cold like that, it's a very refreshing drink. Yeah, even I, though it's basically just a carbonated mm-hmm. sugary water with some flavor. I, mean, I think there might be like a tiny bit of lemon in that, but like just, just like just a splash. Banana yogurts. I'll probably be even like milkshakey, maybe. It's the as everybody says, it's the banana that doesn't taste like banana because these bananas are extinct. <laughs> That's interesting. Banana and soda. It's definitely that like little bit of flavor of like the medicine that we all had as kids. That like And last the Sakura Cola. The really pretty bottle. And a sharp lid. Mm. Very carbonated smelling. Mm. bottle pink colored coke yeah yeah that is that is yeah. a cola flavor it's mm-hmm. just that's like the, the classic bottle of mm-hmm. coke flavor this is the bonus kit kat round <laughs> from other boxes yeah uh, sakura sake mm-hmm. you know where else this is in my fridge. <laughs> There's a whole bottle of Sakura sake that I bought. Not even in Japan. That was when we I went down to Toronto with you for that day. I thought you drank that one. No. Mm. It's been sitting waiting for me to, me to. Why am I having so much trouble opening a Kit Kat? <laughs> there. Mm. Yeah, I definitely get both the Sakura, which is kind of like a strawberry, a little bit. And the sake, but very mildly. Mm-hmm. Gonna, let's work our way through. Okay. So the, clearly these were Easter Kit Kats. No time was present. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there we go. How oh, cute. Little bunnies on them. Easter break banana Kit Kats. Yeah. Banana. Banana. Yellow. White chocolate again. Yep. Whoa! It's not the artificial banana. It's real banana. Hmm. The proper banana flavor. It's like eating a, it's like eating a piece of banana bread. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a good comparison. Mm. Mm. So, you know how I just said everything has that artificial banana flavor because this those bananas mm-hmm. are extinct. This is the actual bananas that are hanging on the trees now. It tastes like a real banana. Mm-hmm. I'm also going to have a sip of this room today. <laughs> mm. 
You Hope remember these from before? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just leave them at home. Cola mm. flavor. Mm. It might be, it might be defective. It's not that fizzy. Bite it. Well, there we go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Love <laughs> carbon dioxide. <laughs> it's like it's not as tingly as Pop Rocks. Because those I used to eat a lot of. Mm -hmm. But it just off gasses so much, it just foams right up. Alright, so these are bonus ones I bought today. This is a cookies and cream. I love how <laughs> Japanese cookies, they're always cookies and cream with a picture of an Oreo clearly on the back. Mm. Cookie and cream. It's a, a Christmas special one. Um, we got a polar bear and then... Oh, well, it's, it's supposed to be frozen cookies and cream, so maybe. Yeah, because there's cute little... Seal, polar bear, penguin. Yeah. Ooh, I can smell it. Yeah. See, now I'm having trouble getting into mine. It's a good thing I'm sassy about yours. Mmm. Oh. That definitely almost tastes like ice cream. Mm-hmm. These guys are red bean, I think. Red bean mochi? Yeah. Oh, red bean and sweet potato. Because I cheat and there's English on the back of this one. Cute little bear man. What city is that from? That's one of the city's mascots. And he's hugely popular. It went absolutely insane. He makes so much money for them every year. I forget uh, what city it is. Kenyan. Though. It is something to like, oh. He's a mascot. There. Kumamoto? Kumamoto. That's him. And supporting farmers. So we're supporting farmers eating chocolate. Okay. I'm down for that. I can smell the sweet potato offer already. A little bit. Not not a strong taro scent though. Mmm. There we go. Yeah. Mmm. These guys are another bonus snack. Oreo somethings. Oreo somethings? Yeah. Uh, too many kanji, I cannot read. But <laughs> I think they're going to be like the little Hello Pandas. I feel like. I'm going to try and open this without them flying everywhere. Success. They're little bow tie kind of things. Mm. Yeah, they're kind of like the Hello, Hello it's Panda. It's a dark chocolate. It's a bit more bitter flavor. Yeah, and a very it's lighter too than like other biscuits. And then, last but not least, strawberry peach pocky. Mm. The bonus snack in it. <laughs> oh yeah, that package is gonna disappear real fast. <laughs> Yeah, Pigger likes me. <laughs> yep. The stick is pink. pink. Mm. That is a peach flavor. I don't get as much strawberry as I get peach off that. Mm. It says happily reminiscent of all my teas that I had. Peach this, peach water, peach tea. Mm. If you hadn't been watching all those videos, we started in Tokyo in um, the Sugomo area on mm. the Yamanoke line because that's the easiest way to get around that southern part of Tokyo. Um, well, Tokyo, yeah. It's, yeah, I think that the 
Because the Asakusa line's the northern part. Mm -hmm. Ish. Don't quote me on exact geography there. <laughs> but um, there were so many restaurants and everything in that area. And then we went to Osaka for a few days and came back to the same hotel. Got a room on the other side actually facing Mount Fuji. And we saw that a couple days. Which we didn't realize until like the second yeah. last day. But the point I was trying to make is right <laughs> down this, a block away from our hotel was Seiyu, which is a big um, supermarket mm -hmm. chain. Actually on, owned by Walmart. Mm -hmm. And um, it was 24-hour grocery, grocery store. And, yeah. So we would come back from a day of doing our tourist things and go to Seiyu and get mm -hmm. some stuff for eating in the morning or whatever. And drinking at night because uh, $2.9% cider. And I could yeah. actually get skim milk there. Mm -hmm. Ah! There's a strawberry. The stick itself is strawberry mm -hmm. flavor. A little bit. I didn't get as much, but... I just had yeah. finished the chocolate, so I had only had mm. stick left there. And I was like, oh, there's some strawberry. I guess I got to try more. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that. Mm. Um, now we're back in Canada where it's cold. Mm -hmm. Right now it's cold and rainy, which is mm. kind of worse. I, if you're driving, you prefer the rain. If you're walking, you prefer the snow because mm. snow doesn't stick to you and get you wet. It just sort of bounces off, you know. But... Oh. It depends on the snow, too, because if it's that, like, wet, gross snow, then it's not... Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, that was the October Tokyo Treat, plus a lot of mm -hmm. bonus stuff. I'll I'll put up on the screen so yeah. you'll know which ones weren't. And, yeah, ho yeah. holiday pictures yeah. behind us. Why not? <laughs> We're on green screen. Back to green Back screen to studio, finally. Yeah. So, things are looking up that way. Anyway, so, thanks for watching. Oh, right, and we got to put this to the start. Hello! If you are a child, go away! This is not for children. Get lost. Beat it. Are you happy, YouTube? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy?